In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. St. Paul, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, St. Paul's. I'm Al Corn, and here are today's announcements. Attention grade 11 university stream students. A new course is being offered at St. Paul for September, which will give you the opportunity to become a peer tutor or mentor. The course is IDC 4UE, Interdisciplinary Studies in Education. This course is open to grade 11 university-bound students with an average of 75% or above. For more information, please see Ms. Torino or your guidance counselor, or pick up an information sheet and application in student services. The library has now extended its hours after school. No books can be signed out, but feel free to use the computers. If you have any questions, please see the librarians. So come on down, the library. Attention all students interested in participating in this year's Think Fast. There will be an information meeting Wednesday afternoon, uh, after school, sorry, in the cafeteria. Also, the Act Now Committee will be selling chocolate bars in the cafeteria this week to raise money for our Peace Garden. Help support a good cause. The weight room is now open for semester two. If you were a member of semester one, all you have to do is bring in the $30 fee. New members should pick up an application on the phys ed door. All members must bring in a student card. Dude, you know the ski trip's February 24th, right? What? Yes, St. Paul, tomorrow is the ski trip. After a weekend of snow up north, you will be encountering some of the best powder snow conditions of the season. You must be at St. Paul by 6.15 a.m. Departure will be 6.30 a.m. We look forward to a great day tomorrow. Uh, attention all girls hockey players, there is an important meeting after school today in the cafeteria. All members must be there. Attention all badminton players, there will be a brief meeting immediately after school today for anyone interested in playing on the Wolverine badminton team. Meet Ms. Pereira in room 122, that's by exit E at 2.30. The varsity hockey team play their quarterfinal game Wednesday at 1.20 against Notre Dame at Century Gardens Arena. Both teams are undefeated this year. All right, those are all the announcements for today, St. Paul's. Now, here's a word from Mr. Schmidt. A good morning to uh, St. Paul's students and staff. I wanted to use this opportunity as we're three weeks into the semester to draw to your attention a few items that I think are important and ones over which we have no control. Some of which we do have control over I want to talk to you about as well. Number one. Uh, Peel Public Health will be contacting many parents by mail regarding student immunization records this week. And um, that material will be delivered tomorrow, likely in the post to your parents. And what I would like you to do is make sure that tomorrow when I do hand out uh, material to be taken home to explain what to do with respect to the, these instructions to follow through as closely as possible. You do not need to contact the school. The relationship will be between yourselves and the Peel Public Health Department. I think it's a very important time of the year because it's course selection time and course selection sheets are due by this Friday and those students that that have completed that task will have a civvies day this Friday so I want to make sure that everybody gets as much of these in as we can because this impacts our ability to schedule properly for everybody and even if you don't intend to return please make sure you let your counselor know because numbers 
as we all know, are very, very important at St. Paul. You've heard reference to some new courses that were offered, and you had presentations last week from Ms. McHenry in the cafeteria with respect to how to access our school website. So please make sure that you take your time to look at what's out there for you. We at St. Paul's try to provide the most balanced curriculum choices in the board, and we want to make sure that you know what's out there. So please consult the website. A number of students have reported to me that they, uh, they are allergic to the smell of perfume and hairspray. And uh, I have to say that I've noticed this a couple of times going down the hallways. Um, I want that to be done in the washrooms. Personal grooming is a matter of doing that in the washroom. So I would remind you to please take all of those articles and if you have to utilize them, utilize them in the washroom because some students, including myself, very, very quickly can become allergic to this material. Okay, so some of uh, us have noticed that the local clown population felt it necessary last week to leave some spray paint in and around the school. And uh, I do want to remind students that um, that's not the way to make your mark in any institution or in any part of society. But along with that goes some notion of gang relationships and I want to make sure that everybody understands here we do have a uniform that bandanas and colors regardless of what they are will not be shown and the administration will make that very very apparent to you if you haven't got the message yet. Other than that it looked like a fantastic weekend I enjoyed myself immensely at the semi-formal on Friday and I know a number of students did and as we go to for forward towards um, our March break, make sure that we all understand that both the weight room and the library are open now, well past school deadline, and to please, make, please take the time to utilize both locations. That's all I've got to say for this Monday. And uh, the song of the day, as I understand it, is by the pretenders, excuse me, it's the Tender by the Foo, Foo Fighters. Have a great day, St. Paul.